how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i have got the nothing phone 2a which is definitely one of the most hyped android smartphone of 2024 and this device is running the latest nothing os 2.5 based on android 14 so you are getting many new exciting features with this beautiful looking smartphone with that being said, in this video, I'll be showing you some of the useful tips, tricks and hidden features that will surely help you to get most out of your brand new phone. Guys, stay tuned and watch this video till the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. So this is usually how the home screen looks on the Nothing OS where we have got so many useful widgets along with these beautiful monochrome themed icons that I think goes really well with the Nothing design language. And if I apply dark theme on my phone, it automatically changes the color of all the icons. Now let me show you how to change and customize your app icons. All you have to do is simply press and hold on the home screen, tap on customization, select icon pack and here we can choose between the default stock icons and we also get this nothing icon pack that comes pre-installed in this phone. Apart from this, here you can also apply any third party icon pack which you have downloaded from the play store. And the pack that I'm currently using is called Nothing Material Adaptive. These icons changes the color automatically depending on the current wallpaper and I think it looks great on my home screen setup. Now talking about widgets, if you want to apply any widget onto your home screen, just long press and select widgets. Here you get bunch of brand new Nothing widgets that actually looks really really cool. And the best part is you can also add quick setting widgets directly on your home screen for easier access. You can choose from any of these options. We have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, Torch, Dark Mode, DND, &D, Auto Rotate, and you can also add a widget to turn on the glyph lights. So basically, you have the option to add any of your quick setting style as a widget on your home screen. Now you don't have to open your notification panel just to toggle the flashlight or turn on your Wi-Fi network. You can change any of these settings directly from the home screen itself. Not only this, did you know you can also add these widgets to your lock screen as well. All you need to do is just head over to your phone settings, select lock screen and here you get this option that says lock screen widgets. Simply go inside and now you can add different widgets to your lock screen and there are 8 different slots that you get to add all your favorite widgets. If I go back and turn on this option that says always show basic info, this will activate the always on display on my phone and all my lock screen widgets will appear on the always on display as well. I think it's a pretty useful feature which is not available on most other Android smartphones. Now coming back to the home screen, did you know you also get the option to customize your app folders? You just need to long press and tap on customization. Here you can change the shape of your app folders. There is a grid style, you can make it more rounded. But what I really liked is this cover style that lets you choose from these cool icons as a cover for your folders. Let's say you have a folder with full of games, then you can use this joystick icon as a cover to that folder and this looks super cool on your home screen. Another cool customization feature that I really liked is the AI wallpaper generator which lets you create your own wallpapers with the help of AI. Simply long press on the home screen, go to customization, now click on more wallpapers. Here we have this new option called wallpaper studio. All you have to do is just click on this create button. Here you can easily create your own wallpapers with the help of AI. Just select a theme depending on your mood and then tap on create wallpaper. Now the AI will provide you with some stunning looking wallpapers to customize your home screen and you get the option either to download or set it directly on your phone. I think it's an amazing feature especially if you love customization and you like changing your phone's wallpaper on a regular basis. Now you don't have to search wallpapers online or install some third party apps on your phone. You can generate your own wallpapers in just a few clicks. Moving on, let's talk about one of the most unique feature of this phone and that is the glyph interface. With Phone 2A, they have added some useful features to this glyph lights. First of all, there is this useful feature called Essential Notifications. With this, you can set certain app notifications as essential and when an alert comes from that specific app, the LED light on the right side turns on and stays that way. Now the only way to turn off this light is to read or dismiss that notification. To set it up, just go to your settings, select glyph interface and then select notifications. Here click on add new essentials and select the apps for which you want to receive essential notifications. You can also see the volume level when the phone is locked. So if you increase or decrease the volume, it shows on the back and this comes really handy when you are listening to your favorite songs. Apart from this, you also get a progress bar in the glyph LEDs and this works on third party apps like Uber and Zomato. Let's say when you have booked a cab in Uber, this LED will show you the driver progress to your location 
and you don't even have to open that app multiple times just to check the status. There is also a glyph timer which shows you a visual countdown through this LED. Let's say if you want to set a timer on your phone, you can place your phone like this and it shows a visual countdown that looks really cool. Next, we have the Glyph Ringtone Composer which lets you create your own ringtones and to get this feature, you need to download the Glyph Composer app from the Play Store which is completely free. Guys, if you are playing music on your phone or even while watching videos on YouTube, then you can enable a music visualizer by using this Glyph interface. Right now, I'm playing a song on YouTube Music and here you can see how the Glyph light works as a music visualizer. This works extremely well and now when you play music on your phone, you get this cool visualizer on the back. Now the Phone 2A has this stunning 120Hz refresh rate display and even though it is enabled by default, when you open certain apps, the refresh rate goes down to 60Hz and it doesn't feel smooth. To fix this, just head over to your phone settings, select display, scroll down and click on this option that says display refresh rate. By default it is set to dynamic, simply change that to high and now the refresh rate gets locked at 120Hz. It does consumes a bit more battery but trust me you will get much smoother experience. If you press and hold the power button, it activates the Google Assistant instead of showing you the power of menu. To change this, again go to your phone settings, select apps and then select assistant. Here you will see something called as hold power for assistant. Simply change that to power menu and now when you long press the power button, you will get the power of menu. Let me show you how to assign more actions to this power button. When you are inside the phone settings, go to system, select gestures and then click on double press power button. Here you can assign the double press shortcut to open your phone's camera, turn on the glyph timer, toggle the flashlight, put your phone in mute and do lot more. Next, there is also a native app locker feature available on this phone. Just go to your settings, select apps and here you get this option called app locker. Simply enter your device pin and now you can easily select all the apps for which you want to activate this feature. You can also choose when you want to lock your apps. Either you can select when the screen is locked or when you close that specific application. Once done, now when you try to open that application, it's gonna ask you to scan your fingerprint so you don't have to install any third party app locker from the Play Store. Similarly, there is also a clone app feature available inside these settings. So now you can run multiple instances of any app and this is really useful. Next, if you want to open app in a floating window, then the easiest way to do it is just drag and release the app towards the upper portion like this. You can then resize the window as per your requirement. Similarly, if you want to open apps in a split screen view, just go to the recent menu, tap on the app icon and click on open in split screen. Now you can select the apps which you would like to open. Next in the settings, if you go inside notifications, you will have this option called notification history. You can enable this feature if you want to keep a track of all the notifications which you have received on your phone. There are times when you delete some important notifications by mistake. In such situations, you can definitely make use of this amazing feature. Once you set up your phone, you will not see the battery percentage in the status bar. But you can enable that by going into your display settings. Scroll down and click on status bar. Here simply turn on this toggle that says battery percentage and you can also enable show internet speed if you really want to check the internet speed in your status bar. Another cool feature I want to show you is that when you open your quick settings, Press and hold on this torch toggle, it activates the glyph torch instead of the normal flashlight which is definitely much brighter. Finally, let me show you some camera features. By default, this phone only captures up to 12 megapixel photos and to change that, simply swipe down and change the quality to 50 megapixels. If you want to take motion pictures on your phone, then you can do that as well. And now you can click live pictures just like the iPhones. When you record videos, you also get the option to record videos at 4K resolution. Just tap about to change the video quality. Next, if you click on more, you get various modes. You can record time-lapse videos and there is also this expert mode which only works for photos. You can adjust the ISO, white balance and the shutter speed as well. Right now, the camera features are very limited in this phone and I hope nothing will add more features with the upcoming software updates. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some useful tips, tricks and hidden features for the Nothing Phone 2A. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.